Did you know that when your storage drive, which has the OS, runs out of storage, no matter how powerful it is, your PC will start lagging. Have you ever wondered why? You see, we talk about CPU to GPU bottleneck all the time, but we never talk about memory to processor bottleneck. In fact, computer memory is the most overlooked part of your PC. And that's primarily because it's not easy to estimate the performance of your RAM using just benchmarks. Obviously, you can measure the speed of your RAM, but speed alone cannot account for the effectivity of your memory performance. This is why sometimes, even if the benchmarks of your application are high, you will still experience lag while using it. And you might think, what's wrong? The problem is, memory of your computer actually works in a very funny way. To explain, let me give you a simple example. Say, you're editing a video. You might have a set of video files stored on your PC, and you just applied an effect on your video. Now for your processor to make these changes on the video file, it needs to navigate individually through thousands of directories or more accurately, rows and columns to fetch your file. And that fetching needs to happen every time you make a change. Something even as simple as applying a cut. So the job of your memory system is to make copies of these working files and place them in multiple locations of your storage. Some extremely close to your CPU, which is called cache and some a little further in the RAM, so the fetching is easiest and fastest. But most times, your cache and RAM is not enough. So your OS or application starts making copies on the storage drive itself. These duplicate and temporary files are called cache files. And if your PC storage is already full, it cannot create a cache file. And because of that, your PC starts lagging. Simply put, if there's no storage for cache files, your PC starts lagging. Hmm. So, does that mean you give extra storage for cache, your app start running smoothly? Pretty much. Let's talk about how. It's called the three-tier storage method. And we've talked about this in a lot of times in our use case videos, but we never really explained it in detail. So the way three-tier storage works is simple. It has one SSD and two SSDs, each having its own unique purpose. Starting with the SSDs. Now, the reason we are asking you to get two SSDs instead of one is simple because you get more data transfer lanes. A single NVMe uses four PCI lanes. Two SSDs will simply mean you have eight of them. And the way you make use of these eight lanes is by allocating one SSD only for OS and applications, install Windows, Premiere, Unreal, Blender, or whatever you use on that one SSD. And if you don't have a high budget, this OS SSD can be a SATA SSD as well. Because once the application has been opened, it doesn't require constant data transfer. And what you cannot compromise on though, is the second SSD, which is the cache SSD. This has to be an NVMe SSD and the fastest one you can get in your budget. Use it for storing all your project files, photos, videos, data, or even 3D objects. And along with that, you also need to set this SSD as the cache drive in your particular application. Like in Adobe Suite, it's pretty simple. Go to preferences, memory, hardware, and select the folder for the cache drive. Along with this, also increase the limit of cache you can store on your PC. This will allow your application to store more and more copies of your project files. And while there isn't a benchmark to show, this definitely helps you improve your application's response. And coming to the hard drive, which is like an archive drive, use this to store all your dump files and other things like movies, documents. This can also be an SSD if you have the budget, but not really necessary. Another major change you can do, which might be costly, but upgrading to AMD X3D CPUs like the 9800X3D is a great way to boost performance. It is already the best CPU in gaming because it does much more cache than regular CPUs. And that simply means it can feed data faster to your GPU. And in fact, our three-tier memory that we talked about earlier follows the same playbook CPUs use for its own memory structure, where L1, L2 cache, which are tiny but ultra fast, attached to every core of a CPU for immediate tasks. This is like your cache drive. L3 cache is larger but slower, shared across multiple cores. This is like your OS drive. And RAM, which is the slowest, is similar to the third hard drive. And that sums up pretty much everything you need to know about computer memory. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you're looking for a custom PC that gives you the best performance for your applications, visit our website or stores across India. Thank you for watching.